Hello, how are you today? I'll be right with you. All right, yay. Oops. I just realized I hadn't turned my speakers down on my computer. Got that. All right, ready to go. Hey, Tina, how are you today? Mm -hmm. Good to see you mm -hmm. on here. And uh, today uh, we're going to be working with Elegantly Said. Or is that what it is? Yes, Elegantly Said. Uh, I'll get started in just a minute. Tina, have you been stamping today? Okay. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and hopefully uh, some people will come on and uh, watch along with Tina. Uh, but they can always watch the replay, so I'm not going to waste time. Uh, so today we're looking at pages 68 and 69 of the um, new catalog. And we're looking at the suite called Simply Elegant. And it is just that. It is Simply Elegant. So... Um, it has the stamp set, and this is the stamp set. Hi, Fran, how are you? Ah, working on class cards, Tina, huh? Know that feeling. So anyway, here is the stamp set, and uh, really a, a pretty one. And then it pairs with this uh, punch. And I don't know about you, but I'm always glad to see a punch because uh, they're just faster than dies. I love the dies, but the punches are done and done. Okay, so let's talk about some of the other things that are on this page that make up part of the suite. And of course, one of the things that people I think are most excited about is the paper. So I just have a little bit of the paper because I hate to admit this to you, I am not a glitzy, metallic kind of person. So uh, I didn't really think I would use a lot, and I uh, just got part of the paper share. Uh, so this has actually uh, copper in it and gold and silver, so all three of those. And you can see it really is beautiful. So I don't have big pieces of some of it to show you, but here's uh, this. And of course, you know, I'm going to like that piece better. Uh, this one is just so pretty. I don't know that the com uh, camera will do it justice. Another gorgeous metallic piece. Fancy. Okay, there's the back of that. And then you've got this leaf piece. And there's the back. It is showing it pretty good, isn't it? Okay, hi, Deborah. And then um, this piece... And there's the, the fancy on that one. So we're going to use fancy on two cards. And then we're going to go to something completely different for the third card. Now the other thing that you see on this page are these boxes. And I'm not going to use that today, but I might as well talk about it for a few minutes. This comes in a package of 10. And... Um, I don't know right this minute how much they are. I don't know if I can find it quickly in the back. Uh, but anyway, they do. Here it is. Uh, it is ten dollars for ten, so they're a dollar a piece. And I have to tell you, they come in two pieces, and it's a good thick and sturdy box uh, to put it together. You're going to put down this big flap first. And then the other two flaps go in. And then this one. And this is actually the bottom of the box. And that one flap that is big makes a nice solid bottom for that. And then for the top piece, I'm just going to pull that. And it's going to be the same thing. You're going to put this 
uh, piece down first and that's actually going to give you a nice top for that and then these are going to go down and then this and then this top that looks so pretty on the inside still is just going to go right over this and there's your box and it's like I said it is super super sturdy and I uh, don't know what to use it for, but I'm going to come up with something and uh, decorate it. And there you go. So a dollar per box is what that is. Let me set that out of the way because we're not going to use that today. Uh, and let me point out to you, up here at the top is a number that is for the entire suite. So you can uh, do this number and automatically you're going to get the stamp set, the punch, the paper, and the box. And it lists that for you here. Now, if, if you don't want everything, then buy it separately. Buy what you want separately. But an easy way is to look up there for the uh, one number for the suite. Okay, so I'm going to close this up. And we'll go ahead and talk about the cards that we're going to make today. Um, oh, you know what? I left out part of that suite, and that is the fact that it has some elegantly trimmed, um, and I had those with the cards we we're going to make. So it comes in, uh, it might be simply elegant trim, and it comes in a package of the gold and the silver, and uh, we're going to use that on two of our cards today, and uh, it's a lot like some that we've had before. So today, uh, for this card, let me show you what we're going to make. And it is this right here. And I'm a little nervous because we're going to be doing some heat embossing. And uh, I'm either really good at that or I make a big mess. So we'll <laughs> stay tuned to see which it is today. All right, here's our black piece. I've got this cut at four and a fourth by 11. And then we're uh, scored. And we're going to, uh, okay, well, I have moved away my bone folder, it looks like. So I've got, uh, sometimes I lay these out for class. This is just dominoes, and I've got one laying here, so I'm just going to use that to burnish my, my corner there. And then uh, this paper is cut to four by five and a fourth. And we're going to go ahead and just add that on. Let me get my glue. And I'm just going to grab the cat corner. Trying to decide if it has a direction to it. I'm not sure that it does, but I like it this way. And we'll add that, we'll just go ahead and add that to the front of the card. Okay. And then I have a piece of copper foil. And this is cut at one half inch. And it's just part of what I had left over. So I'm, I'm going to be putting it there. Um, I'm just going to cut a little bit of that off now and then we'll trim it up in a minute. So I'm just gonna add some glue to this. Do any of you have this uh, uh, suite or stamp set? Let me know if you do. I'm gonna line my paper up on the grid paper to help me to get this on straight. So I'm going to do it about there and I'm gonna go all the way up and then I'm going to line it up so that it's straight up and down. And then I'll just come back here and uh, trim this off from the back. Okay, so there is my uh, piece there. And then we are going to be using for this tag that's on here, the scalloped um, scalp contours dies. I just can't 
stop using this. We're going to be using the smallest one. And let's see, Tina, you have it. Okay, you're using it for quarter shoebox swap. Neat. Okay, so I'm going to pull out this stamp that says wishing you a wonderful birthday. And I've got a piece of white right here. Uh, oops, and I'm going to pull in my Versamark pad and I'm going to pull in my embossing buddy. Now we don't sell these anymore and I've heard people say that you can use a used dryer sheet and that will have the same effect. Okay, let me try that again. And I'm going to stamp now we're going to be embossing this in copper. Uh, Stampin' Up! has brought back some more of the embossing uh, powders, but they have divided them into groups of three. So the metallics has, I believe, copper, silver, and gold. And you do have to order it, like I said, in groups of three now. Not uh, sure that was a great move, but... There you go. So I've got my embossing powder on here. Um, all right. And I'll bring in the heat tool. Now this is going to make a noise. Um, but just bear with me. Hopefully it won't take very long. And we'll emboss that. Here it goes. Can you see? Okay, there you go. That gets that. And then I'm just going to take this and cut it out. Uh, now, I didn't cut out first because I just wanted to make sure I could center everything like this. And it does look like these little pieces right here are going to be cut off, but they actually worked out pretty good. And I'm going to just put a little bit of washi tape. Hopefully I can get it started. Um, on this, I'm just gonna put it out there and I'll be right back. And we're going to be using a tag on the second card that's really pretty much the same. So I have it done. You won't have to watch me again. But uh, I am kind of proud of how my embossing looks on that. So uh, let me move that aside. And I'm going to put some of the silver uh, twine on this. I guess you can see that this card has actually... The copper mainly, but it also has the gold and the silver. So um, I'm, what I'm going to do is just add some seal back here. And we'll just hopefully get this around. This is not my best thing. Some of you may have a better way of, of doing it. Um, but this is what I usually do. Okay. And I think I'll just stop it there. And then, let me move that out of the way. And then I'm going to add... Okay, I am, do not really have my dimensionals. I've got some pieces. I had a class this last week, and uh, I probably told somebody to come down and get some. Okay, so I'm going to just lay this here. And it can really go anywhere you want it to. And that's the, the front of the card. For the bottom, 
or for the inside, I just had a little piece like this left over from cutting my uh, front. So I'll waste it. We'll just add a little bit of glue to that and put it down here at the bottom. That's why I like the glue. You can kind of move it around to where you have want it. Okay, and then we'll just glue that to the inside. And um, I'm not going to put words on there yet. Um, I'm just going to wait and see exactly what I might want to put, even though it is a birthday card. And I'll probably um, emboss something in there. And I didn't really think you needed to watch me do all that. So here you go. This is very quick. Uh, and it's just using the designer series paper to... Uh, to make a card. The, the paper speaks for itself. You don't really need anything else. So there's our first card that we're making. We're moving pretty quickly. All right. And the second card is also using the, the paper out of the, uh, I think it's Simply Elegant pack. Okay. So let me move that out of the way. And... I started out with a thick white, thick basic white uh, base, and I cut it um, four and a fourth by 11. I scored it at five and a half, and then I cut a little bit off the front. I believe I cut an inch and a fourth from the front, so it opens like this and I'm going to um, do a little bit of embossing on the front of this designer paper. This paper is cut four and a fourth to go across this way and four for the length down here and I may have to trim that a little bit. It looks like I cut it maybe a little long um, but that's fine. So I'm going to pull in my Stamparatus and we're going to use that um, to help us get our design on our paper. Um, sometimes we forget that we can stamp right on our designer series paper. And it's, it's really pretty. So I have this um, already situated on here. And what I'll do is stamp. Uh, with my Versa mark, and then I'll turn the whole thing around and stamp the other way. Okay, you guys are mighty quiet today. What's your favorite stamp set from the new catalog? Share that with us. Okay. Oh, and I just realized I didn't do my embossing, buddy. hope and I'm stamping that twice okay I want to get that good all right now I'm going to turn my paper all the way around I'm going to put my magnet back but I want to be careful that I don't get it where I stamped Now this is just going to go right in the other corner. Hope I didn't move the paper. Okay, it might be moving the table. All right, so I'm going to pull this out. I'll move the Stamparatus away. And this time we're going to be using gold embossing powder. So I do put mine in these tubs, and I use I have a spoon in each one. I don't always use it. I kind of like to move it around like that. And I'm 
might have gotten a little heavy handed with my uh, stamping. I hope that we'll see some of the design in there. Okay, let me close up my powder. That's a tip for you. Always be sure you close your powder or move it away before you start with your heat tool. Okay, let me do that. I haven't decided yet. I don't think what my favorite stamp set is. The one that I'm going to start playing with next is the Plentiful Plants. And I might use it for next week. I love watching heat embossing heat and melt. It's just magic. There we go. We've got that. I see I've got a little bit down in there. We'll live. Okay, so now I'm going to put some glue on the back of this. And you want to be sure you get the four and a fourth across the top it's very close in measurement so it's kind of hard to or easy to get that mixed up yeah Tina it's really hard to pick a favorite okay I'm going to turn this over well I thought I was going to have a lot to cut uh, Cut off. I might just trim this up a little bit. I don't like seeing uh, the paper shine out, but I don't like being short even worse. It's easy to trim, especially when you've got that thick paper. There we go. And then I'm going to bring in a one-fourth inch piece of the gold foil and I've got more than I need. I'm just going to put a little bit of glue there and I'm going to put this just right on the bottom of that just to give a little differentiation between the layers. Okay, so there we have that. Now I thought about using the new basic borders and doing a fancy uh, cut there, and I just decided, no, there was enough fancy there. Okay. So this paper right here is four and a fourth by one and three fourths. You want to make it big enough that it's going to uh, not show an end of it uh, while the card is closed. Okay, so there we have that. And I do need to trim. I'm getting a lot sticky over here. Okay, let me trim this a little bit. Okay, so there we go. And then, uh, as I said, we're using a tag just like we had in the last one. So I went ahead and made that so you wouldn't have to watch me again. And we're going to do gold trim with this. So... Let me just play with that a little bit. Uh, 
Not too close. There. That is really sticky. Okay, let's make that go over this way. Yeah, you can play with it once you get it going. I think I'm going to do one like that and stop. Okay, so we're using both of the uh, fancy twines. And I'm just looking for... Okay, what I'm going to do is pull in, this is some of the um, foam adhesive sheets, and I'm about uh, out on this pack, but I have these little pieces, and I think I'm going to use them on the back of this. You could use dimensionals, of course. Um, and I'll use this piece. I'll just trim that down a little bit. And that'll give me some more to use another time. I'm going to trim that a little bit more. Because I don't want it behind the holes on the tag. Okay, so I've got that. So I'm going to get some of that sticky off of my scissors. Okay, so we will take that off, and we're just going to add this right in the center of the card, and then I'm going to bring in some of the gilded gems to use. Okay, and... We'll just put some of these around. I'm going to put the small one where it's already elevated and then these larger ones over here where they're flat or down because, of course, you're going to have to pay to, to mail those. But here we are. This is the card. I didn't go ahead and write anything on the inside of that one either. Um, and I... I have to admit, I did not um, get that embossed quite as pretty as the first one. But there you go. All right, and so the last card that we're going to do today doesn't use the uh, paper that comes with that set, but uses, I'm trying to reach over and get it, uses this paper that is in the back of our catalog with the host section. And I'm just going to pull this out a little bit um, so that you can see uh, that it has, it actually has four sheets of 12 by 12 for every one of the designs. And there are 48 sheets. So that's 12, um, um, 12 designs and uh, so they're really beautiful colors and bright colors not all of them I'm, I'm not a super bright person uh, but this is gorgeous and if you earn host rewards this is something you might want to think about because it's a lot of paper in our beautiful colors but this is what I like I'm going to flip it over the backs are all black and white and you know I'm a lover of the black and white and uh, you have your your uh, buffalo check you have leaves you have stripes and dots it's gorgeous but we're not using the black and white today even though that's what I would love to use um, so let me pull in the card that we're making now uh oh I don't know if I have it actually so surely it's in my little package right here thank you Deborah okay yes here it is so we haven't used the the punch yet so I thought we needed to do that and let me pull in we uh, this stamp uh, also for our uh, card 
So for this one, I am using the borders, the basic borders dies. Let me pull those in. I think I showed those to you last week. And the one that we're going to use is this one right here. And I want to talk to you a little bit about placement on here. So my uh, base to this card is Calypso Coral. And I'm going to, um, I see my corners don't exactly match. So I'm going to look at the corners and then I'm going to burnish that fold. Okay. And so I want to, of course, put the cut side down. So I'm going to open this up. I'm going to line this up on my grid paper because that's what I'm going to use to make sure that it's even. And um, I'm going to look at the number of blocks. So I'm going to go up. Let me get my, my washi tape ready. I'm going to go up six blocks and I'm also going to um, make sure that the ends are about the same stick the ends of the die are about the same sticking out. So let's see one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm going to move that to right there. I'm going to put some tape down here and then let me count one two three four five six so this is going to go down to there and that way i should have it where it's even on the card so i'm going to take this over and cut this real quick actually so it's going to be on this bottom part and it's not going to mess up my card. So now I've got that done. Um, I have a piece of the paper from, this is called Pattern Party, uh, the paper that I just showed you and this one is two by five and a half and I'm going to go ahead and just glue this down. So, to tell the truth, the cards I'm doing today are a little bit out of my box. They're not my really normal colors that I use. And then, I'm, like I said, I'm not much of a metallic person. Okay. Right. So, there's that. And then, I'm going to do a little bit of stamping. I don't know if you can tell. I did a little bit of stamping up in there, and I'm going to do that uh, with this stamp. I'm using, oh, you know, I think I told you this was Calypso Coral, but it is not. It is Flirty Flamingo. <laughs> so, sorry about that. So, uh, I'm going to do Flirty Flamingo, and I'm going to stamp off when I do that. Can you see it? Okay, and I've got down there, so I'm going to close this. I opened it so I wouldn't get anything down here. Now I'm going to close it to get the rest on there. And I am kind of moving my card around or my stamp around to, uh, to have different looks. Let's see, I think I'll just do that. Okay. I think that'll do it. All right. So I'm going to work now on uh, making my little tags. And since we need three tags, I have already uh, stamped um, one of them and have them ready because I didn't want you to have to watch me. This is going to be the inside of the card. I stamped 
and then I put this saying. So I'm going to go ahead and glue that in just to get it out of the way. And then we'll talk about our other tags. All right, so there's the inside of the card. And we're using a technique for this stamp that is called a uh, direct marker to stamp. So I'm going to bring in my really nasty looking chamois and clean the block. Let me get some of the glue off the glue, some of the uh, ink off of there. Okay, I think that's clean. And we'll be ready to bring in, let me close this. We'll be ready to bring in, um, okay, I'm looking to find my white paper. Here's some. Okay, so I'm going to bring in my, um, uh, this is Granny Apple Green and uh, Flirty Flamingo, I hope. And Daffodil Delight. So these two are from the Brights family. And maybe the Subtles. I'm not positive. Okay, so I'm going to bring in uh, a stamp. And I'm going to be coloring with the fat end of my marker. And I'm going to color kind of with the side. I'm not going to color with the point because that's going to ruin the marker. So I'm just going to kind of come in from the side, kind of the side point maybe. And there's my yellow for the, the inside. And now I'm going to get my fat end of the granny apple green. Now a lot of times when I'm doing direct marker to um, stamp, I will use my Stamparatus. And the reason is because it doesn't always stamp the best. So, um, but today, because I was using this stamp in a couple of ways, I, uh, I didn't feel like I could do that. So, I've done my Granny Apple Green. Now I'm going to do my Flirty Flamingo. Oh, you know what? I left out a leaf. Come back and get that. Okay, and so we'll do our petals. Again, I'm still using kind of the side of the marker and not the tip. And you can kind of see where you've been because there's a little bit of a sheen to the stamp. And there's larger spaces you can color a little bit faster. Okay, so I'm ready to stamp. I think I've got it. And I'm just going to kind of bring it up to my uh, mouth and kind of breathe on it or huff on it. See, I'm not going to do that on screen. But... And then I'm going to come here on my paper and stamp. And there we go. So there, that one. Actually, it looks like it's got some little dots in it. Maybe that's where I cleaned it and it was still a little bit wet. And then we're going to do another one. Um, and I don't have to clean it in between since I'm putting the very same colors down. We'll see if that one, if this one also has that little 
bumpy look to it. Let me get my flirty flamingo out again. Anyway, on the Stamparatus, if you do it on there, you can stamp it more than one time and get a good, dark, uh, heavy image if you wish, which you sometimes can't get as dark an image doing it the way we're doing it right now. So normally, I would recommend that you use the Stamparatus for this. Okay, let my little huff, and we'll stamp again. Yeah, it's still kind of dotted. Now I'm going to bring in the punch, and I'm just going to bring it up now. Um, there's one. So now we have two, and we need one more. And I'm seeing that I did did not get this little group of berries right there for buds very good. Okay. Now I'm going to put my punch right up here with a little piece of paper sticking in it because I want to remind myself to show you something with the punch. But I think we'll just go ahead and get the card done. I'm going to bring in a piece of just the leftover half inch basic white. And I wanted just a little skinny saying. And this stamp set did not have that. So I have a saying that I brought in from... Oh gosh, my mind just went blank. I think it is the Pansy patch set but maybe not okay so let me ink that up I'm going to turn it to the back even though I'm cutting it out uh, it might be a little bit better and I'm just going to go ahead and cut this out. Uh, and you wouldn't have to do this. You could just uh, um, add it as the half inch piece. So let's put together our pieces and again, I don't have very many, um, and there's my thing. I couldn't find where I'd started using dimensionals before, so I think we'll have enough. Down to the itty bitties. I try to leave um, my basic tools out down here so that I'll have them. I used to try to bring them each time and I would always forget something. So I'm going to start um, with the center. One. And I might go up a little higher than I did before. And then we'll do the ones on the edge. And I also think that this time I am only going to put one bow instead of the three bows. I decided that was a bit much. Okay, I'm just kind of looking at the others on here and figuring out where I want to put this. I'll put just a tad of glue. There. Oops. 
this. Now that won't work, will it, to put it upside down. And then I'm just going to put that across there. I just couldn't find another place that I thought would look nice with that. So I, that's what I ended up doing. Okay. And then for the bow, I'm going to bring in... Actually, I brought in the wrong color. Um, and I was going to color the... Um, this is the basic white or just white crinkled seam binding. I brought in the dark Calypso Coral because I had in my mind that's what I was using. Um, let me look at how that might look with this card. Actually, it might be okay. It might look a little bit like the uh, stamping in the background. We'll try it. So I'm just going to color one and uh, add one. So I'm just using a blend to color this uh, ribbon. I love this ribbon. Okay, hopefully that'll be enough. We'll test, test it out. Here's a bow maker. Yeah, I think that'll work. We'll hope I can get a bow out of that. I do appreciate you all watching today. You're very quiet. <laughs> That's okay. Okay, I got it, I got it. So we'll just take that and add it to the middle uh, tag. These are not ribbon scissors. Huh, it did okay. So let me get a glue dot and I'm just going to kind of roll that up. And add that to the back and we'll put that there yeah well that color actually did turn out looking okay and yes it looks better with just one bow I think so there we go there's this card now there's uh, there are a couple of little things I want to show you before I let you go and uh, one of them is with the punch now, this punch is, I think, one and three-fourths inches wide. I don't have a ruler right here. Um, yes, one and three-fourths inches wide, and that's what I cut this paper to be. And um, you, you saw me use the punch a while ago just as a regular punch. But I am going to pull it in this way. Um, actually, let's see. I'm going to pull it in, and I'm going to pull it through like this, through the punch. I need to try to get that straight, and I'm going to punch just that piece. And that's it. And then I'm going to put it in this way to do, and I always have trouble getting that in. But anyway, you can put it in the other end. This might be just a tad too wide. Of course, I don't have my trimmer with me. But anyway, you can stick it in that way and punch. Uh, and end up with a long tag. Okay, so that's something for you to think about uh, that you can have more than one use with this. You can also stick this end back in through here, and again, it's it's just a little too wide, and it's punch from that end again, and then you're going to have this 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 on both ends. So that is another uh, way 
to uh, get a little bit more use from this punch. The other thing I wanted to talk to you about was this uh, technique that we were using about uh, coloring the uh, cards, coloring directly on the flower. So I'm going to come back in and color this one again uh, for you one more time. And I don't think I'll do the leaves. I'll just do the, uh, the petals. But I'm going to do it with my uh, Flirty Flamingo. And we'll just do, do this as a little practice. Still using the side of my uh, marker, not the tip. And using the big end. If you use that little end, you're never going to get it done. Well, I think I am going to go ahead and do these. Because I could use this. And so the thing that I'm going to do differently is I'm going to bring in a Poppy Parade, a different color. And, oops, skinny end. And I'm just going to add a little bit of different shade of the darker color. I want to get this because I missed it before. And we'll just add a little bit coming maybe out from the center from that. So you can put more than one color. Let me huff on it. And we'll stamp that. We'll see if you see any difference. You see the little bit of darker that's on there compared to the one I did before. Do you like it with a little bit of darker uh, color to it? I think I do. I think that would have added a little bit more interest to the card if I had done that. So something to think about. Well, that's what I have for you today using the um, Elegantly Said stamp set and the Elegant Tag Punch. Um, as I said, this bundle and suite are on page 69 and 70, I think it was. And today we did this card. Let me bring in the others. And then we made some blingy cards uh, using the designer paper that goes with that. I'll just show, put down the ones that I already had made also. So uh, this is Joanne Hewins. Uh, I do have a blog, love to create.typepad.com. Uh, if you don't already check it out, I, I hope that you will. I'm really proud of it. Uh, and then uh, if you need any supplies, I would be so happy to help you with that. Uh, there is a shop button from my blog. Um, and I appreciate you joining me today. Uh, if you would like to share this with your friends, I would certainly appreciate that. Thanks so much. Have a wonderful rest of the day, and I hope you get to go stamp something. Bye-bye.